The message you're about to listen to is a message from Apostle Eric Nyamiche, the chairman of the Church of Pentecost. Apostle Eric Nyamiche preaches the gospel in its simplest form to help the believers walk in Christ and also how the believer relate with his world. This year, the message is on unleashing the church to possess nation. Join us and let's learn from Apostle Eric Nyamiche and be a blessing to the world. If you are new to this page, make sure that you subscribe to the channel and tell, make sure you go to our home page and check out our more videos. Thank you. Someone went to the barber. And then I'm sure maybe you were sleeping. Uh, or I don't know, maybe he was not paying attention to the way the barber was shaping the head. So before you realize, they have given him some shape. And then he said, when he got home, his own son, ah, who is this? <laughs> his own son couldn't re re recognize him. <laughs> so this thing was just a pain in this man's heart. So anytime that he looked at his face, you would just remember the son questioning who is this man. Just after two days, he started complaining of heartache. And check by any new and a obis or 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 so say now come on here. Then the wife said, My friend, my friend, would your hair will your hair not grow? You you are going to follow this baba and die and leave all of us. Yeah. Many people have gone to the premature grave because of simple things. They carry it into their heart and they die just like that. Somebody baba you and he didn't baba you. Wait. Even Samson's hair grew. And I believe you all this are your own. And I'm here. I'm born in Chenka. Chenka is a downfall. Yeah, you are you born here. Since you be a, we think you be full. Samson grew and he think you full. Yes. When she ye pe obedi we yechi no we wu a wu tro. Now I pray that the Lord will heal us of bitterness. It's less a wade. I be saying yari e fi yaudi. The bitter people they quell into their shells. I believe I'm one who would die on one time. Person who couldn't pay me. They quell into their shells. I believe I'm one who would want to see it. Especially the men. Men ma ena we tie bone. They want to be very quiet. It's where you come. Then when you greet them, they respond with their head like that. We said praise the Lord instead of saying hallelujah, you just do this. They shy away from people. Other times, bitter people have suicidal tendencies. Yeah, sometimes they want to just leave this world. And for the women, they tend to be talkatives. They always want to tell their part of their story. Their story is so nice. You always have to listen to the other side. They are malicious talkers. And they talk to destroy others. Now, what Kasa they say after from? So people who are bitter always rejoice in the evil that befalls the one they think has offended them. Nipa wo di ya ono bribi emu wo hu se ni a wo di ne wo ya ono atamani emu a nu eni aje. This fellow died, and this man who this woman was not on talking terms with this fellow who died. Dan fubi wu ina. Then when they were far past, this woman managed to stand there and then still insult the corpse. You can't understand. Just what I know, tiny funu. You just cannot understand. You see, and some of these things, you may think that they are they are just some imaginary. They, these are real things. Then he looked at the cop and said, Because bitter people, they, 
they really do not want to kill their enemies no, when you died pains them they want they want to they want to destroy you they don't want to kill you they want to pin you to the wall so that see like Saul wanted to do to David they just want to pin you to the wall and then rejoice in your suffering so when you die too early they, they don't like it <laughs> they want you to suffer a bit before you die because bitter people are very very callous they are insensitive they are unsympathetic you go and tell him that this has happened to this man say hey if you don't take care, you even say praise the Lord. They are despiteful. They are prone to insults. They have poisonous tongues. They inflict injury. Their so if someone is bitter at you. And the fellow is insulting you. What you will say concerning you, you realize that way. We did my temper. And some of that you can do about that. Some of that can't find one. Eh, yeah, yeah, pa, 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 pa. Now you see, bitter people can look at somebody who is a cripple, and then insult the person with their leg. One would do be we are no bit me a shebu buenia no de na brabo woman no edina tem. They are very very despiteful. Oye ni pa. Now they are rebellious. They are rebellious. They are revengeful. I'll talk about some of these in future. They, they always bear some grudge. They have something else to say. To clarify some points. If you see someone who is like that, the person is bitter. You see, medically, there are some effects that you can get when you have bitterness. Like enlargement of one's heart. Insanity. It causes ulcers. High blood pressure. And the like. And the like. Bitterness is evil. It destroys the carrier. And it destroys many. See, bitterness can lead to all kinds of complications. I read this book many years ago. There was this man who was lame on the two legs and then also blind. Now you woke up one day and you couldn't just walk. So they found him a preacher. Then later he went blind. Because he was a worthy man. The family tried very hard to kind of restore his health. When it was not working, they decided to see this man of God for prayers. So the man of God, like Elisha, heard that this one will be coming to him. So he decided to prepare for this man. In his prayer, God gave him a word of knowledge. He dropped a name in his spirit. And that when this man comes, you should ask him about this name. So when the man arrived, he asked him about do you have any idea about this name? And this man, blind and lame, man said, What about this name? I feel God impressing impression upon my heart that you have an issue with this name. Do you have anything against the, one, the bearer of this name? 
Then this blind man of the ears. Anna. He doesn't want to hear the name mentioned to him again. So the, the pastor was saying that, oh please, do you have anything against the bearer of this name? And then the blind man said, please, if it is about this name, I will prefer to go to remain blind. And let me tell you this when you when i kept when you, this story revealed that the blindness of this man and the complexity of his situation has been caused by bitterness there was nothing the Osofu could do because he was not prepared to let go. Righteous anger. But ladies and gentlemen, bitterness is caused by offense. No one is born bitter. It has to do with one's attitude towards offense. Our attitude towards offense. Now, Luke chapter 17, verse 1. And I will take especially the first part, 1a. Look at Sempano, Luke 17 verse 1. Jesus said to his disciples, things that cause people to stumble are bound to come. But woe to anyone through whom they come. Now, I can tell you what I said. And I said, 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 I Things that cause people to stumble are bound to come. Now the King James says this it is impossible that no offense should come. It is impossible that no offense should come. And, and we are saying that bitterness is caused, and it is caused by offense. Whether you become bitter or not will depend on your attitude towards the offense. And scripture is saying that it is impossible that offense should, that no offense should come. When we talk about offense, we are talking about the cause of transgression or wrong. A cause of transgression or wrong. The reason for a transgression or a wrong. Something that offends or displeases. The act of offending or displeasing. See, simply put, to offend is to cause displeasure. Offend is to cause displeasure. Yet scripture says that it is impossible that no offense should come. So what that means is that by all means, what will cause offense will happen to every one of us. So you see that bitterness is caused. The feeling of resentment and displeasure is always caused. So therefore activities and inactivities that may lead to bitterness should be carefully avoided. Second Samuel chapter 2 from verse 23. Second Samuel 2 from verse 23. 
tosu mienu no eti mienu efi nyimu adu no miensa no eba but Asahel refused to give up the pursuit so Abner thrust the bath into his in of his spear into Asahel's stomach and the the spear came out through his back he fell there and died on the spot Asahel had fallen and died now so one person or sunny and Abner didn't appear to a one year from the na pia no hwie na chi ko hwie mu ama obuye ara na obiara odru de asa awuye no ho no na hokom but joab and abisha pursued abna and as the sun was setting they came to the hill of ama near gaia on the way to the wasteland of gibeon na joab ni abisai ti abna na owiare koto no na odru amna koto Kukwa a dark glam a nim gibion a stress so son. Then the men of Benjamin rallied behind Abner. They found themselves into a group and took their stand on top of a hill. Now Benjamin four Bwabwa won a nu jina abna e chi ye kuba ko na uku jina kukuobi etifi. And this is the big one. Pay attention to verse twenty six. Afiti Abner called out to Joab, Must the sword devour forever? Don't you realize that this will end in bitterness? How long before you order your men to stop pursuing their fellow Israelites? Now, Abner, beside you have said, and grant and say, I did and consider being when you say a chilly or time now and consider being and sana what can. What can actually was rough for no say one son in free one year on each now after the death of Saul, there was civil war as because of the struggle for the throne between the house of David and the house of Saul. Okay. Saul who actually no into quack a seer but that David and Saul fear in term a son is and what pray now come on it went on for about seven years it was why I feel soon it was in one of those battles that Abner made the statement we just read the verse 26 to Joab, the commander of david's side when he called for a ceasefire and nam santo kwa iso ena abna kasa semi eche joab bra na santo kwa no eba wante mwa wapese nto kwa nijai maze so diva forever so in krante don't you realize that this will end in bitterness so whatever you are doing if it will end in bitterness, you ought to be very careful. Actions and inactions that may lead to bitterness should be carefully avoided if you can. How long before you order your men to stop pursuing their fellow Israelites? Acts that leads to bitterness and the resultant desire for vengeance never bring an end to any battle. Now bitterness never brings an end to any battle. It doesn't. It doesn't. As long as one party is bitter, it doesn't matter the people who want to try to settle the matter. Unless you take that bitterness out, battles never end. It is impossible that offenses will not come. But we are encouraging one another and admonishing one another that so far as you are concerned, whatever will cause bitterness, if you can, try to carefully avoid it. Are we together? So are we understanding what we are saying? So, things like gossip. Let's be wary of such people. Anytime that anyone comes to you and is speaking ill about someone who is not present, let's be wary about them. They are going to cause bitterness. 
Bribia ma obi ba on China oba beka on full from one sem e di achira o in sem a e ya no but modi ya shen ye Malaysia's talk e kasa ya odi e wumpa but biting se o chu chu ni pane nineteen deceit o kan to sem envy se o di ni time jealousy na bribia mu ni bri obi slander na o kan no ma e se obi no cheating or can't edify so it be to me obu 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 and the like you know my titties are you see that all these things somehow they are not offenses that causes demotions and suspensions okay as i know my way now to say in security and concerning idea and you know you to be saying oh if somebody is malicious and you want to suspend the person people will say that the way you say then they want somebody to commit fornication and then that one let's suspend you but these malicious talkers they destroy institutions more than anything so be can someone eh yeah i won't grow for honor or the detection make you can't grow for so what more the answer what can say yeah i'm not sure we can say away i see be a drama and someone i'll be this her and so when i'm with me say on my craft let us be careful of these things because they can cause Offense. It says, "Will be to me at the sinti di ato." An offense will cause bitterness. As that sinti di ato, no be to me the yaudi. And bitterness destroys. Yaudi esayadi. Bitterness destroys. Yaudi esayadi. Yet the Bible says that it is impossible that offenses should not come. And so Charles M said, "Hey, thing says sinti di ato Emma." So you could be very, very careful that, but the other party will be careless. To be to make sure we are part, and so a full front to be to make a come back on. So let us do our best. To make sure we are, we are more modern. But no matter what we do, and so maybe you be as long as we are on this planet, see, as I see, see, offenses will come. When be also sinti di ato Emma. Things that you are not pleased with will come. No matter any way, nika Emma. Things and traps that causes people to stumble will oh, by all means come. If you dear who do I want shah, who bet me a tum, a bet me about him. See, please understand this. Now, so Mr. Mummy, and I've been saying this, and I want to reiterate it tonight. We be a mummy, come in and present me, see, subdue that there are certain facts of life. Okay, no, maybe our brabo moi. They are facts. Now, when you know them, it will help you have a better attitude towards offenses. That in this life, not all the people will like you. No, they will not. And to me, massa. Not all the people. And you're depending on. And everybody is praising you. No, be a at all. Why you you don't? Now just be, just be careful. Why are you not? Not all the people will love you. You're depending on. The bed door. So when you, by God's grace, you realize that this one does not like me, just thank God and bless the Lord and move on. Tinya me bua no hu tamfua. Shena ni onyam atuaso. Number two. It also means not all the people will understand you. You're depending on. The bed too much was here. No, they will not. There be. So don't fight those who do not necessarily understand you. One more to us, no, any woman can. Everyone is is can have his own her own opinion. We are all entitled to our opinions. So when you share your opinion and someone does not agree, a person is also entitled to his or her opinion. So move on. Okay, nyansa wewe ni ba kufutrim into which law juni na fufu ni wanya juni ya. One more dia na tuaso. Said so number three. Yeah, toss me in, sir. <laughs> Let me just talk about these opinions. So especially in meetings. Okay, yes, yeah. I will share my mum. I said, "Obi, actually, na juni no." I was transferred somewhere, and this fellow who was taking me to the meeting, my first meeting, and this fellow came to fetch me in his car. The one who was just was just driving me to the meeting. He made a comment that today the meeting is going to be very hot. Okay. My yeah. first meeting. Say so it's going to be very hot. What? What? What is going to happen? Yeah, do me call baby. I me call ya so for Juma for front. I me do hold no mono. Now that I'm for baby family, Eddie Atina, the Kemu, the Fidima, or the me Eko, in Shemu, Eddie Kain. Now I'm going to ask you. Now that I'm for no case, and ne in Shemu, I'm paya. Ebega. And then I asked him why. What is going to happen? My first meeting. Then he said last month when they went for a meeting, this fellow said this to him. And in this meeting, he's going to reply him. Now, me busa ni se ah, I'm paye bejoi. Edi asem ni si. No so na no meeting ayekoye no nsiemo no. Then fubika asembi anyamide ne ne miu koi. 
Yes, my children. I fear you do more, bro. I kept very quiet. Now, me, you come. At least he was giving me a picture of what I, I, I've inherited. I am no comfortable. I tell me, dear, you dear Jamino. And then yeah. when we went and we started the meeting, this man was very quiet. Now you quiet, yeah, yeah. Until this elder stood and spoke. See, sir, sorry, penny, but I could sorry, yeah. Or shall say, or cassa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Until this elder stood and spoke. See, sir, sorry, penny, but I could sorry, yeah. Or shall say, or cassa. Then he also came in with some kind of anger. Penna, or non so dear, before be sorry. Instead of addressing the chair, he addressed the man. Now all cassa no, and momma dear, sir, or the better, your tear drum no so name. And what happened there was very, very unchristian. I told them that, oh, is it, are we doing church? And I told them that, okay, then I'm, I'm going home. So I took my Bible. I pretended as if I was leaving. And then they came, oh, suffer, sit down, suffer, sit down. Hey, I thought we are doing church, but this does not resemble church. If this is a presbytery meeting, then what about youth meeting? And the wa and the mibisa won say ah, e ya sorry ne ye, ana ye be konto kwa. Na mpenifu ahia, e na we e kwaso yi. Pe e na me fa me no ma ye say dia me kwa, pe e na we frame me say o so for me nko. Na mka kire won say we, a sorry mpenifu mpo ne ahia yi. Na mrante ne maba wa na ahia, e ne nka dia ne bisi ho. You see brothers and sisters. These were elders. We no me a sorry mpenifu. They behaving like they have never been saved because of bitterness. See, in this life, it's appointment, it's a major fact of life. Now, you don't have all your expectations coming through. Disappointment is a major fact of life. Sometimes the way they occur can be very, very dangerous. You may be bitter. Like this lady spoke of um, a friend. Now, who was supposed to be her bridesmaid? Ana wo na ifrushia muno ono eno boa ni yere no. Are supposed to be the bridesmaid. Ah, na chese senko oware ya anko no ane biya obeye ifrono na dam for bedi ne. Two weeks before the wedding. Ansa na obeye ifrono be na uchumi yenu pe 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 pe. The bridesmaid snatch the fiancé. Akaswa obeye ifrono ape ena ni obeye boa ifru you know J. They went ahead and married. At the time she was speaking to me, these people were two years into their marriage. I will give you the details later. Yeah, I will give you the details later. When I get to where I have to open up this story. This is disappointment. Sometimes the way it comes. The way it comes. Can create some bitterness. Number four. In this life. Bad things happen to good people. If you like going and ask Job. He will explain some of these things to you. And the friends were insisting that because maybe you have done some evil, that is why this calamity has also befallen you. The fact that you are good does not mean no evil will befall you. In this life, the world is not fair. We are saying, and you're It's not fair. Kra. Yet your bread and no It is not the one who suffers who eats. Now, this 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 fellow who, who is a friend of mine. We are down for you, or your madam for power. Almost slipped into adultery. A kaka krebi and kumuni ato aware say you. He's been married for many years. Aware in fear be brave. And according to him, he's been naming children. Naming children as a presiding. The one of those days. 
he just carried this little one in the arms about to name the child at home he became very emotional and somehow he started weeping everybody was confused because it's not the day to weep or to cry but is he has been married for years he has sanctified his life but they've not had any issue so when he picked this girl's child who just joined the church not many years ago. And the Lord has blessed this one with um, this baby. Again. Somehow he find it difficult. Why? Why? But the world is not fair. The world is not fair. He also knows this girl very well. The kind of life she was leading. She just converted, joined the church, had a husband. The nine months, they have a baby. But the world is not fair. The world is not fair. Then, Whilst he was dwelling on this, he decided to throw in the towel, go for another woman, and then have some issue. When he had taken that decision and made some advances, a man of God visited his home. And in the night they decided to pray together. So they prayed for a long time. Then when this man of God left him and he went to his room, he felt convicted. I need to talk to this, my friend, about this decision that I've made. And the pastor said he was shocked that this whole this man could go uh, could uh, could take that decision. I mean, he was surprised the way he knows this one, and ah, he was shocked. He just had to advise him to just just wait, just wait. If you don't have an issue now, maybe God will give you to you tomorrow. And according to the pastor, when he started talking to this elder, he broke down and wept like a baby. And then Yamini Pano, on any Casa, your boss, actually, boss of Chernope, a year now, who drew ye pie, Sansa, no bonus, a way yet, and yard you obey to me, Ayasa, Nan ye buy, and I said, Obey Tunufo, O Tunufo, no, Papa, soon, soon be an enya sem ketua. We need to understand this because they. It can cause bitterness. I'll be talking about the fact that sometimes even our bitterness are not against human beings. So they are against God Himself. There are some people who are so bitter at God, if they could meet Him, they would tell Him all that they want to tell. But Job said all these things. He says that if he has to meet God, he would tell him certain things. But you say, as for God, if they say that he's in the east, by the time he gets to the they will say that, oh, when any bones are, he's just gone to the west. Yeah, we'll talk about these things later. That should be a bit in common affair. No, maybe a nipper to me, a dear one, 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 to me, because we didn't know how to cram we are. Now, you know, we talk can be crumble. Now, so all you need an opinion, you know, you know, you know, now, you know, now, now, listen to me. I feel it don't take yourself too seriously. Because no matter what you do, someone will by all means offend you. You need to make yourself nothing. It doesn't mean that you don't have to discipline when there's an offense. But when it is you, please make some room. 
and non chess as a obi a two sintibia and says our trinity no name um say a wa but more than say what your quenya be Jesus made himself nothing. Yes, but one home pine. When you make yourself nothing, things do not offend you that much. Say what to home pine and man no ma mau ni yao be brave. Bitterness is cause. It is caused by offense. And offense will certainly happen. Things that you do not like, that displeases you, is bound to happen. We will continue next week if God grants us the grace. But let us remember that in this life, bad things happen to good people not all the people will love you not all the people will understand you disappointment is a major factor of life the world is not fair doesn't mean that sometimes you have studied very hard and then by the time of the exams you miss certain things you said oh but i did my best why Sometimes these things can happen. And for us, we see and hear you, and so she, but to me, I'm a no, maybe I could say the one pay. I pray that God will have mercy upon me and have mercy upon you. May he have mercy upon all of us so that we will be able to handle offenses as they come. May the Lord bless us all.